Question 3, part D. We have 6m cubed times n divided by 3mn. So I'm just going to write it like this to make it easier to deal with. Okay. And we're going to look at the numbers first. 6 over 3 becomes 2 over 1. And then we're going to look at the m's in isolation. 3 minus 1, we're dividing uh, the m to the power 3 by the m to the power of 1. So we subtract the powers, we get m squared over 1, multiplied by n over n. Well, n and n goes once and n and n goes once, so we have 1 over 1. So this simplifies to 2m squared. And next up, we have part E. 25 x to the power of 4 times y squared all over 5 x cubed times y. And here, same procedure. Don't be getting scared by the, the big mess. Just put your fingers over there and look at that. And that simplifies to 5 over 1 because 5 into 25 goes 5 times and 5 into 5 goes 1. So we get a 5 on top. So we can write it like so. And looking at the x's, we're dividing, so we subtract the power, so we're left with x to the power of 1 on top, or just x over 1. Multiplied by looking at the y's, same procedure, we subtract the powers 2 minus y to the power of 1 there. That's about, that's what you could write that in as a 1 if you like. So you'll end up with y to the power of 1 on top, which is just y over 1. So our final answer, tidied up there, is 5xy.